Delete everything. I'm going to use the images as planes add on to add in a picture of a house like this. Uh, once this is in Blender, I am going to rotate it along the x axis, uh, slide it up nice and high so it's on the x axis, and scale it up nice and big. I'm going to add in a basic default cube just so I know the scale and how big we need to make things. It's a little too small, so I'm going to scale the house up even more. I'm now going to apply the scale to this image so that it won't do weird stuff later. And back in edit mode, I am going to add loop cuts all around the edges of the house. Once this is done, I am going to go through and delete everything besides the inner part of the house. All right, I'm going to add in more loop cuts around all the window sills and like major geometry that we're going to need. Once this is all done, I'm going to duplicate the whole house over. You'll see why later. All right. Back on our original house, I'm going to go through and select all the window frame areas, and I am going to Alt-E and extrude them out a little bit. I'm going to I to inset, and then I'm going to extrude them back in again. That looks pretty good. I'm going to turn down the specular and turn off show back face here, and that will make the image way more easy to look at. All right, I'm going to make some window sills, so I'm going to come over to this other house that we duplicated, cut out a window sill, and drag it over to where we need it. I am going to position it where I want. I'm going to double click G on certain edges to scale in uh, this face here so we can get it nice and good looking. Once that's done, I'm going to Alt-E extrude it out and slide it around till it's positioned nicely. Then I'm just going to duplicate it over, and I'm just going to rinse and repeat basically for all the other windows that have window sills. Or I guess it's window blinds. Window frames? I, I don't know what it's called. All right, I'm going to select some of these and uh, rotate them along the Z axis to make them just a little bit offset, just to add some extra. Um, then I'm going to take one that's positioned normally, and I'm going to scale it down and slide it into this lower window here. I'm going to duplicate it around, slide it in, duplicate it around, etc., etc. I'm going to repeat with the scaling on the Z just to give it a little more offset. I'm now going to pull out these bricks here, so I'm going to add some loop cuts, and then you just select everything, and you just try and drag it out or extrude it out till you think it looks nice, then you can select these edges and bevel it just a little bit so it's not super sharp. Now I think it would probably be good to select all these outer window frame edges and just go through, you know, select them all, and then we're just going to give them a little bitty bevel just to make it look nice. I also want to kind of cut out some of these vents in the house, so I'm going to use the knife tool, just cut them. And I'm going to extrude in and uh, inset until it looks nice as well. You can do the same for the others. Some of these you can just inset and then double click G to move the faces and then just extrude and inset again. So you don't even have to use the knife tool. I'm going to drag out this roof bit up here and added some extra loop cuts so we can drag it around and give it kind of a cool looking trim. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. I'm going to use the knife tool again to cut out one of these little roof extrusions and I'm going to duplicate it over to our real model and then I'm going to just extrude and inset and extrude and scale until it looks nice. And then you can just duplicate it and place it on all the other ones here and just yeah, position them to where they look nice. I'm going to select the uh, window board thingies down here, and I'm going to shift D them up to the top windows. I'm going to press S, X, negative 1 to invert them and just scale them around so they look nice. We can delete this other house now because it's not needed. I'm going to add a new texture to these windows by selecting them all. I'm going to make a new texture. I'm going to add in a glossy and a transparent and mix them. Then I'm going to plug the original image texture into the color for the glossy just so that we have a little bit of the original texture reflecting in the glossy. I wanted to uh, make some little guardrails around the windows, so I selected a face in edit mode, press shift D, and then P to separate it by selection. In edit mode for the new face, I uh, scaled it out and slid it up into the place where I want the uh, rail to be. We're going to extrude it, and we're going to be using a wire modifier on this, so you can delete all the faces besides the three that you can see. I'm going to bevel these edges and add in a few more loop cuts. When this gets somewhere where it starts looking real nice, you can add in a wireframe modifier and then you can change the thickness just till it looks nice, kind of like a nice little wireframe around the windows. In edit mode, you can uh, select this whole face and shift D it around and give it to all the other windows. Perfect. And you can even make a nice like smaller version for the bottom window. That looks pretty cool. So just duplicate it around again. When you get it looking pretty good, you can go in the shader editor and just duplicate this texture to make it its own thing. And then we're going to just turn up the metallic just to give it more of like a metal look. 
Okay, and this is all done now. Uh, well, I mean, as done as you want it to be. You can go insane with details and add in every little thing that you want. But, you know, for a basic type deal, this is pretty good. And it's great for scenes to put in backgrounds because it has a 3D feel, but it's very low poly. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and that this is helpful. Bye.